In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an advanced team member slider or carousel inside of your Elementor page builder. We're going to put two team member carousels, sync them together and add navigation. We have over here navigation arrows and navigation images that navigate to the specific slide of the carousel or slider. Without no more further ado, let's get started. To get started with my interactive team member carousel layout, the first thing I'm going to do is split the section into two columns. And in the widgets pane, I'm going to search for team member carousel. Let's drag that inside over here. And as you can see, it's an awesome carousel for team members. And instead of showing three items, I'm going to show only one item. And what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this into both columns and then sync between them. When on the left column, there's going to be only an image and on the right column, all the content. So to do that, let's just jump into connect widget settings. I'm going to enable remote and enable sync. And let's go into layout and I'm going to turn off the arrows and turn off the dots. Also, we do not need all the content that is down here. So we can turn off the title, the subtitle and the text. So we're left only with an image. For the icons, I'm going to go for hide. Awesome, so that's the image. Let's try to make our image full width. So I'm going into image and over here in image width, I'm going to change that to percent. Push that up to 100%. Push the height maybe to something like 500. Take off the border radius. And let's take off the image margin. So I think that's awesome. Inside of content, I'm going to take off the padding. So we're left only with an image. Let's start putting inside our images. So over here in items, I'm going to the image and I'll select something from my media library. Let's go for the first one over here. Second one. Third. And we have only one left. Let's do this quickly. Awesome. So we got all our images over here. We also have some kind of border radius that we need to take off. So let's go into style and item radius. I'm going to change that to zero and we can take off also the border. So it's like sort of clean kind of look. And over here, I think I'm also going to turn off the autoplay so it won't annoy us so much. And in the section, I'm going to change it to full width. And in the column, I'm going to take off the padding so it snaps nicely. So I think this is pretty much set up. As you can see, there's a small little glitch over here to uh, refresh and recalculate the carousel. You can just toggle something on and off and then it will reset it or you can save the page refresh the page and then it will reset the calculation, the JavaScript calculation. This happens by the way, only in the back end. It will never happen in the front end. So now we need the other carousel that we want to sync together. So before that, actually, I think I'm going to add another column. So we have like two columns and let's move the columns by dragging a little bit. This is the sort of layout that I want. Over here, there's going to be navigation and over here is going to be the text. So for the text, I'm actually going to add another team member carousel. And as I said before, I'm going to sync between them. So 
let's add that over here number of columns let's change that to one and this time for the image I'm going to take the image off so let's start one by one and see how we can edit this so I'm going into let's go into style and inside of image I'm going to set the height to zero and now I don't see an image inside of content let's align the content to the left and let's turn off our navigation arrows and dots now again this time we can uh, actually maybe uh, turn off the autoplay later on we can turn that on I mean it will work with autoplay and let's connect our widget so I'm going to enable remote control and enable sync over here in the column I'm going to vertically align this to the middle and let's take off the border so inside of style I'm going to none and now I don't have a border so what what we're left with doing is adding some navigation for this so I'm going to add something that's called remote arrows and put that over here now let's first of all okay as you can see that it immediately works so that's awesome but I'm going to add also a special kind of navigation, which is called item remote navigation, remote item navigation. Let's drop that inside of here. So these are kind of a cool little buttons that you can use. And I'm going to show you how to set this up. So we're going to set it up with the faces of the people in our team member carousel. So let's go over here. And first of all, inside a layout, I'm going to go for column so there'll be one under the other we can turn off the title turn off the label turn off the inner icon and turn on the image so over here we're going to put face images inside of item navigation I can choose each time which face I want to show and each time I can choose to what slide out of the carousel I want that specific one to navigate so this will navigate to slide number two and this one will navigate to slide number three so let's put that in and let's do the fourth one also give it a title I mean the title doesn't have uh, much of a job over here but it's for organization purposes so this one is going to go to slide number four and now you can see that I can navigate using these. Let's center the column as well vertically to the middle. And over here, I'm going to leave only one arrow. So let's turn off the next arrow. And we're left with only one arrow. So let's align it to the center. And for the arrow, I'm going to do an up arrow instead of a left arrow. So this is going to a go up awesome and let's duplicate this and move it to the bottom now this time what I'm going to do is turn off the previous arrow and turn on the next arrow over here I'm going to choose a down arrow and now my layout is perfect so that's about it i mean this is what i wanted to achieve an advanced slider for elementor that's showcasing my team members i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video